Steelers Nation NFL family. Roses are red, violets are blue. Just because he went to Alabama does not mean he's good. Please stop with this whole, okay, our season's over. Let's just go pick the Alabama kid. If you follow the draft year round, you would know that Alex Leatherwood is not a top 10 tackle in this draft. If you've seen the Senior Bowl, you would know that. It's simple. He has extremely slow feet. He does not have good hands, and he tries to bully people with his pure power, and when that doesn't work, the play is over for him. Like right here, the defender's simply just going to step inside, and he's going to get right around him, literally just run right past him. There's nothing special about this move. He is just not fast enough to keep up with the defender, and this is the thing that I really don't like about him is he's not fast enough and he does not have good hands. It's strictly just pure power with him and trying to bully kids which is not going to work on the next level we have seen this over and over again like right here versus a d tackle not a speed edge rusher he is just going to go one-on-one -on -one with a d tackle and pass protection all this defensive tackle has to do is get his hands on him high get him off balance and swim over yes he does have good strength and shows flashes in the run game but he has pretty bad feet easy to get off balance not good stamina not good hands it's just not going to work out for him at the tackle position no hate to alex leatherwood whatsoever i think he can be a good guard at the next level with some work with his hands but right here he's gonna have a guard's get off this is not fast enough at all and nfl players will take advantage of this because on the left side you need to be fast you need to be athletic alex leatherwood is not fast and he's not the most athletic he's going to get burnt basically on every play where they have a speed rusher or even a power rusher because a lot of these guys have way better technique. Right here working against Quincy Roche, Quincy Roche is just going to run right past him and he's a really good prospect. He doesn't have to do anything because Alex Leatherwood isn't the fastest and his hands aren't really that good so he can't keep up and he can't put his hands on him because he's not the best technique wise. I highly encourage you guys to go look at the Senior Bowl, again working against Quincy Roche right there, and all Quincy Roche really has to do is get an extension of his arm, run right by. This is common knowledge that Alex Leatherwood isn't really going to be a tackle on the next level. I know a lot of people love to think that these Bama kids are going to come in and instantly dominate the kids that they were dominating in college. It's not going to happen. You see him versus equal competition. It did not work out for him. Right here, this UAB edge rusher is going to get around him and put his hands on him and easily get through making Alex Leatherwood look silly. This would happen on all the tape I watch in game as well i'll show you guys a couple more clips but i think you guys are starting to get the point we're back at the mississippi state game and he's gonna have a one-on-one -on -one versus this d tackle and try to get a good punch on him and use his hands and it does not work at all it all goes to waste it's almost like the defensive tackle does not see him there he's just like get off me get off me get off me i'm trying to get to this quarterback it's super ineffective and every time he tried to do this the defender would just go right around him he has a ton of things to fix if he wants to be a guard i am not going to consider him a tackle but let me know what you guys think about alex leatherwood i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you haven't already subscribe and that is it for me on this one peace